Hey guys, today we're going to be welding the Smith on a 325i E36 BMW. So, to start off, I got a couple of tools here. Let's see what we're going to be able to use. Alright, so first things first. Let's see what we can see. Right here. There's a connector that goes in right there. You want to pull that out and also pull it off of the bracket up here. So that way it's not going to be in the way. Next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is disconnect the sway bar. It's going to be a 13 millimeter socket. Right here, this drive shaft, we're going to disconnect it from the diff. Uh, wrench would be fine. I'm using adjustable. I'll get the top, the bottom two. Then I'll spin the steering wheel and get the top two. Take it off. All right, so this is going to be 16 mils. All right, five eighths. Cool. All right, boys, rule number one, wear your freaking PPE, man. I wasn't wearing glasses. I got rust in my eyes. It took 15 minutes to wash the rinse in my eyes. I had to get them out. But the boy is pulling up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, all right. Okay. That's that clean culture whip. Oh, all these carbon fiber parts. I hear it out. So we gotta take out these axle bolts. They're E12s. I'm in the middle of drilling these out because I stripped them. Don't strip them. Or else you end up like me. You can see it took this one out. It will probably have to take the e-brake off, rotate it to get them out, but we figured out. The sway bar is out of the way. This one's about to come out. This is completely disconnected now. Yeah. yeah. The beans? What's up? The beans. The beans. 
Oh, can you pull the e-brake? Oh, never mind. He's out here welding this shit. Uh, the fluid's the on fire. I do have a small brush. Hey guys, I'm back. It is New Year's, New Year's Eve. My wife has COVID, so I'm not going to be going anywhere. I'm just staying in, inside. Well, I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to be working on the car. So if you guys hear fireworks in the background, it's because it's New Year's Eve. So now we welded that diff, uh, cleaned it out. We put some uh, degreaser in there, some uh, purple power and let it soak, cleaned it out, used the rest of it, cleaned it out, then put, so we sandblasted it first, then used the purple power. And then I sealed the edge around it with some adhesive, soft mounted it, waited an hour and then torqued them down. And now I'm about to uh, throw this thing back in there. Yeah. It'll be a little bit tough, not gonna lie. Because I'm all by myself. I don't recommend doing this unless you got some help. But uh, I think I'll be just fine. Gotta get it on that mountain point. So I actually ended up throwing that differential in all by myself. It was not fun. I don't recommend doing it by yourself, but my phone ran out of storage right as I was putting it in. It probably took me about an hour to do it by myself. But once I got it positioned, I put one mounting bolt in and then I used the jack along with a few of stacks of wood to hold it up and re realign the other mountain points and I put it in. So don't forget to connect the connector or else you'll be driving without a speedometer and you don't want to do that. But yeah, it wasn't fun, but I actually ended up doing it by myself. And uh, unfortunately, you know, my phone died so you guys can see the rest of it or it, didn't, it ran out of storage so you guys can see the rest of it. But now moving on is to the suspension parts, which I also didn't get everything on video due to phone storage. I tried deleting everything for whatever reason, my phone still doesn't want to release storage. So I'm going to have to go and buy a legitimate camera to continue making videos. All right. So for the coilovers, you got your bolts back here for the rear ones come around this way i'll be able to see i got my jack up under it it's gonna take those two bolts out it's nuts this thing's gonna drop it remove the nut from back here so we got the two 13 millimeters 17 millimeter on top you just got to take out the two 13 millimeters and then the 19 mil back here and the whole strut comes out now for this coil over all i did was put use a compressor compressed it a little bit stood on top of this and just yanked it out uh, it was pretty easy putting this in super easy as well i just pushed this thing down and then as you see i just slid it in there i got it on three right about three threads right there and uh i will be installing the shock strut i just did it on the other side but i'll show you guys how to do it on this side so this was a little confusing to me at first i didn't understand how it went on but basically it comes already pre-packaged in the box for you for race line at least and you just slide this on top of here and you adjust it how you want and then once there's pressure on it it won't look so loose all right check this out so we're going to put on the right hand strut now and this is the old one you can see this thing is beat up destroyed i mean look at that that's Disgusting. All right. So here's how we're going. Oh. Clean that off. Put that up there. All right. So here's how we're going to take this off. Make sure that you guys can see. All right. So I have an adjustable. Put that adjustable here on top. 
I'm going to take a 17 millimeter wrench. Actually, I will put the back side in like this first and then put the adjustable on top. And I'll just turn away from each other. We're going to do this. We're going to take this off. We don't need this. I mean, I guess we can reuse it if we want to, but that one comes with that one. I lift it up. Oh, lift it up exactly how it is put down. I took the washer off of this. The other one comes with the washer. So you can just use that washer if you want. So I'm gonna put this on my feet. I don't want it touching the floor. I don't want to blemish anything. I don't want to ruin it. I'm gonna push down to release that pressure. We're gonna put pressure on it. Let me take all that shit off. Okay, okay, okay. So this tag just says not to use like any wrenches or pliers or anything like that to hold this down because you can puncture it and then that'll ruin the integrity of it and can cause damage to the seals so here's that one you can cause damage to the seals and you don't want that so uh don't do that do it how i'm doing it or find an alternative if you have a small enough wrench for this all right so all right here we go that can go on So we're almost done here. Now I don't recommend going, you know, mock Jesus on this thing and just tightening it down to the point of no return. Um, I would recommend putting some light thread locker on there. I don't have any on me. I literally looked everywhere and everything's closed right now, so I cannot go and buy some. But uh, I mean, this thing is snug on there. Like it's not going anywhere, and it's not ridiculously tight, but it's not. Loose to the point where if I'm driving, it's going to fall off in the middle of the road, you know? So it's going to be good. I unfortunately don't have torch for it, but whatever. Let's go ahead and install this. Pick up a bolt right here, and then we'll go. All right, so we're going to install this now. Let's see, so this spring here is seated just fine into that little part right there. Now what we're going to want to do is line up this down here. Let's put the bolt through this. It doesn't really matter which side. I have the race land facing out. I also recommend putting some medium strength thread locker on this, but I don't have any. Not today. She's hand tight on her now, just fine. All right, now we're on to the front shock struts. 
and this is replacing them with the uh the same raceland but it's a new day bright and sunny you know here's my little soon to be drift car and there's my uh stage one s4 you know just a little a little quick 300 something horsepower but all right so we got a 13 mil socket and all i'm gonna do here is brake torque on these i don't want to take them all the way off yet there we go Cool. The torque's broken, and now I'm gonna come back here. I'll put this down. It's an 18 mil socket. We'll come down over to the uh, back of the shock strut right here, and then you'll see right here two 18 mil sockets. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put an extension on this, and then I'm gonna get them out real quick. Also, make sure you take out these. They should just slide right out. So it's a little clip. that one's off this one should just wiggle out of there so just wiggle out of there all right so i got the rotors held up right now i just loosen up these back bolts i'm gonna take this off lower this or actually i'm gonna take this off take these top bolts out and then i'm gonna lower this and it should come right out all right so like i said before i ran out of storage space so i never actually filmed the installation of the front coils but it was still pretty simple and uh, look at that. If I go straight across, it's hitting that wheel. Look at that gap. So the front ones are pretty good. I'm gonna have to uh, adjust the rear ones because if you look at it this way, it's kind of tilting forward and I want them to be more even. So I want the back to drop down a little bit. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what else you guys would like to see next.